Hi guys, welcome to my brother's vlog and he's quite busy filming my videos at the moment. Welcome to Wells. So we just got here and I'm super excited because Wells is one part of UK that we haven't really explored yet much. We have been to different parts of England, Scotland, but this has been a final puzzle piece for us. Honestly, we don't know much about Wales. We know that they have their own language, ancient language, ancient culture, uh, and that is not related to English. And the highly recognizable Snowdonia Mountains. Uh, I believe it's a country with huge heritage, tons, tons to discover natural beauties. So we are pretty excited to explore Wales and looking forward to have some adventure. So let's go. Guys, behind me is the big rock sack and I'm not exactly sure what its actual weight is. Guys, can you guess what's the weight? You mean 1000 kg? Okay guys, 
if you visit well, maybe maybe you can guess the actual size of the rock sack. And if you find out the actual weight of the rock sack, you could win up to 115 pounds. And it's really fascinating. I keep going to go. I know you hate it when I'm stoned. My posture, bad lungs. Pretending that you don't smoke. Only things to work, baby, half the time. You're not good for me. Won't you leave? Honestly. You're not good for me. I just want to stay young, but I wonder what it's like to die. I don't want to go home, she just want to feel a bad. I don't pick up the phone, cause I know you want to steal my eye. Got me feeling alone, I just want to stay young. Alright guys. We just checked in our one bedroom apartment uh, and we had a lovely stay over here. It was nice, clean and cozy and we were literally out waking up in the mountains surrounded with natures and greeneries. We absolutely love this one bedroom apartment. We are going for our breakfast and now we are heading to our next destination that is the highest mountain peak in the world which is Snowdonia. All right, guys, see you there. Alright guys, we are on our way to the Mount Snowdon and currently we are here at the Penny Car Park and from here now we're gonna grab some height and we'll take a gentle stroll up to the summit of Snowdon Mountain so here we go So guys, we are currently here at the Pen, Pen Y Pass or Penny Pass, I'm not sure uh, but there are altogether 8 routes to the summit which I which I didn't realize and they live through the different places and the pain white path have like three routes that that take you to the top of the Snowdon mountain. Apparently the route is very difficult and the rest of the one route is very difficult and the rest of the other route is a bit easier. So we're gonna take the minus track and we're gonna stroll from here right here and we're gonna walk through all these lakes and reach to the summit and if it says that minus trek we're gonna take eight miles and 13 kilometers back and forth and then it will take around six hours there and back and it's 2372 feet
Alright guys, as far as the weather is concerned, it's very cold, it's chilly out here. Uh, today we have seen sunshine, we have seen rain, so it's kind of rugged weather. And uh, we have got a major flashback of being in the Lake District here. Uh, it just, we just felt like a Lake, Lake District vibe and it even took us back to the gold old memories out there in Lake District. Behind me is the beautiful lake and it's just awesome. Take a look. So guys, we are here at the halfway of the summit and the more higher you get, you get to see more better views, absolutely amazing views, stunning landscapes, epic sceneries and we're just loving the place. Take a look guys.
Alright guys, we finally made it to the summit of Snowdon Mountain and this is like a big pocket list ticked. Uh, the whole thing took around 5 hours for us. Usually 6 hours is recommended but we completed the whole thing in just 5 hours and which is pretty good. It's freezing cold here on the top of the Snowdon Mountain. It's windy and foggy. You can't really see anything here. Have a look at it. Ooh, we are on the top of the Wells Snowdon Mountain. We did it. Yes, yes, bro. We did it. Ooh, top of from the top of Wells. historic castle and you can see castle wherever you go and that's what makes this place so special and currently we are here at the first castle which is 700 years old and it's situated in the north of Wales take a look Alright guys, behind me is the smallest house in the Great Britain and I have never seen such a small and cozy house ever and it's really fascinating for the tourists as you can see it on the background there. Take a look. Okay Sally, could you please give a small introduction about the smallest house in the Great Britain, please? This house was built in 1590 mm -hmm. and was occupied till 1900. 1900. It was condemned in 1900 together with the houses that stood on the far side. Okay. As it has no bathroom. No bathroom. So nobody can live in it mm -hmm. at the moment. Yeah. Um, there only used to be one toilet at the back behind the houses. All right. And that toilet was for everybody in this street to use. Okay. And this house was only saved from demolition uh -huh. because they went round Great Britain mm -hmm. measuring the smallest house in every county. To okay. prove it is the smallest and get in the Guinness Book of Records. All right. And it's still in the Guinness Book of Records. How old is this house? It's 430 years old. Wow, that's and so it's old. Now. All right. Thank you for your information. Thank you. Cheers. Bye. Alright guys, our next stop here in the island of Anglesey is this place behind me 
which I'm not even going to be able to attempt to pronounce. It has got 63 characters and it's one of the longest name, longest place name in the Europe. And below, below its original 63 characters, you can see the actual meaning of English meaning of this place. Have a look. Alright guys, with this we have finally come to an end of our Wales trip and we are finally back to the York and we are chilling by the riverside with this amazing views. Take a look. Let's do the cheers bro. Megan bro. Cheers. Cheers. Ooh, cheers. guys it was it was so amazing and so nice catching up and having an explore around Batiscoid of Landberry's Conwy uh, we were quite taken aback with Wales in general and it was just a last minute uh, spontaneous plan but we will definitely be returning back to Wales one more time as once was just not enough until then take care and we'll see you on the next one Bye-bye.